Shut up and sit down. Oh, hello and welcome to another North Wales side by side video. Thought I'd just share this little trick with you. These are two Ego 56 volt lithium batteries that I use in my battery powered Ego strimmer. Now, when to use that the other day, the strimmer. And I threw this battery in it. And it was flat. So. I did what every sane person would do. I dropped it on the chair. I don't know if you just saw what it did there. Nothing. It just won't, uh, it won't charge up. Now then, if we know grab battery number two same type of battery that one's instantly it instantly st took and the charger recognised it so I've got one good battery and one dead battery So you've got to be careful doing this and the way I do it is get these little probes and what I'm going to do is identify plus minus I'm not going to worry about these two in the middle and I'm going to insert One in the positive, this is an easy one handed, one in the positive, one in the negative on both batteries, knowing that one won't take a charge. That one will take a charge and is fully charged. So, negative, positive, negative, positive. Now I'm going to grab myself two leads I'll put you down there a sec whilst I do this and I'm going to connect positive to positive negative to negative then get my multimeter out
What I'm doing here is I'm confusing the electronics in the battery. I think you can see the voltmeter there. So let's probe the good battery. That is so in 56.3 volts. That's a good battery. I should technically now get the same reading on this battery, even though it's flat, because I'm jumping it off this battery. And I do, I get 56.4. Because what this is doing now it's charging the capacitors up in the battery and what I have to be now is very very quick because capacitors store charge so what I have to do now is quickly pull them two prongs out transfer that battery onto that charger and I've probably got about 10 seconds before the capacitors in this battery lose their charge. Because lithium ion batteries, when they get to a certain voltage, won't charge. They just refuse to charge. This doesn't always work. I don't know if it's going to work on this occasion. So, pull them out. straight away that battery has now been recognized and it's charging at the beginning of the video you saw me throw that battery onto that charger and it did absolutely nothing so that will now happily charge itself up That is how I jump start lithium batteries that have gone below their voltage threshold to be recharged. So that Ego battery now, once it's charged up, should be a usable battery again. I know it works with my DeWalt batteries, it also works with my M Milwaukee batteries. It's the first time I've tried it on an Ego battery and it seems to have done the trick so I've got two batteries again hopefully now. Just thought I'd share that with you how to kickstart a lithium ion battery that's refusing to charge on your charger. How to confuse the electronics in the battery to let you charge it. Anyhow, thanks for watching the video. If you like this sort of uh, little technical tips, please click like. Please consider subscribing to the channel. It costs you nothing to subscribe. Thanks for watching.